We've got two co-ops fairly near my house. We've got one down the bottom of the road. I can walk there in 10 minutes. And we've got another one mile and a half, two mile away. 10 minute car drive, five, 10 minute car drive. Both of them have something in common. The old bill have had to get involved several times. The one down the bottom of the road, people tend to like uh, taking things from there, should we say for want of a better word. And they've even had the front window smashed in once or twice. And I live in a fairly good area, believe it or not. The one round the corner, uh, the one further, furthest away, people like nicking the cash machine from out the front of it. It's happened two to three times that I know of. Well, it's come out in the news that these two aren't the only ones with the problems. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope you're well. Let me know in the comments and thank you very much as always for the support. Continue doing what you're doing. It's all great and I appreciate it ever so much. Well, the co-op. Apparently, in the first six months of 2023, there was something like a thousand recorded incidents every day right across the board all over the place. Now, these incidents range from shoplifting, antisocial behaviour, looting, and also nicking the cash machine from the front. A lot of them have one built into the front wall, uh, as you probably see with your own co-op. Uh, the company revealed that there were more than 175,000 incidents from January to June 2023. So that works out at roughly 1,000 every day. There's an inner city London store was looted at least three times in a single day. Uh, in July, obviously this month, a man was arrested after a crane was used in an attempt to steal a cash machine outside a co-op in Barnum, West Sussex. That's exactly what happened around the corner from me. The co-op warned that this level of out-of-control crime is unsustainable and could see communities become a no-go area for local stores. I mean, I bought you that video, didn't I? a little while back, that the police officer that wouldn't move. Well, it wasn't a police officer, it was a PCSO. And I said, I'd have to deal with it then. You know, with this kind of attitude and with this kind of lack of responsibility for the police forces all over, it's a wonder why our streets are the way they are. Uh, the convenience retailer called on police forces and crime commissioners to target prolific offenders and local organised criminal gangs with many said to operate without fear of being caught. Freedom of information request by co-op showed police failed to respond in 71% of serious retail crimes reported. A lot of the problems I've seen in my local co-op, at least, are youngsters. Yes, youngsters. Now, some of it, they're bored. They haven't got anywhere to go. They end up hanging around on the street corners, and then they end up causing trouble. They just wonder. And then as they get older, oh, I got away with that. You see the pattern of behaviour, and then you just get generation after generation after generation. When the hell is it going to stop? And the way the world is going, the way they seem to want us all in our little pockets, doing our own little thing, we're doing 15 minutes of each other. This needs sorting out. And we're going to tear each other to pieces. The police force right across this country of ours needs a good rocket up the jacksie, uh, in my book. Uh, and, you know, that will go some way to sorting stuff out. Let me know your experience. Do you shop in a co-op? I know it's pretty pricey for some, but mine down the bottom of the road, it's convenience more than anything else. And let me know what you've seen. Get in contact if you've got any stories. I'll get them out there. Anyway, I'm off. I'll see you shortly with one more. Doodaloo.